On One Photo Raw 2022 is coming out this September. Unless you're watching this video after September, that means it's already out. Now, it's coming up with four important features among many others. First one, new Sky Swap AI. You can create time lapse integration of On One No Noise AI in On One Photo Raw. This is crazy. So it's officially like DxO Photo Lab for basically the same thing you either can buy separate noise reduction software from on one or you can buy the whole package even bigger now you can officially use every single photoshop plugin directly inside on one photo 2022 so essentially you don't need to use photoshop anymore if you have any kind of photoshop plugins let's say i would be guessing the nick collection plugin you can use it directly now in on one photo 2022 now i have received an email about all the details directly from the guys at the on one so i'm going to explain you each of the function as i received as the email now stay tuned now before i go into the details you can do two things one go down and subscribe and go to the description and see the details the handwritten version so that you can actually read it instead of watching the whole video you can do one or another now let's talk about the interface now i've got all the screenshot of the new software that i'm going to show you right now there you go that's the one so clearly the interface doesn't have much of a difference than the last time it pretty much look exactly the same which is a good thing that means that you don't need to start from the ground up you can familiarize yourself already if you have the on one photo 2021 which is a very good news um yeah i personally don't see much of a difference so i'm very happy about looking at it because i can actually familiarize with it already so if i have the software or you have the software you can immediately start using it without any kind of further tutorials which is a very good thing now second the effects and presets of course the new software means new things so i would imagine in the new effects library you're going to have a lot of uh, new effects and presets um the screenshot that you're looking at it right now that was given to me by the guys at the on one and by the look of it uh, the interface of the effects library uh, didn't change much but it should have a lot of new stuff new presets new looks so i'm very excited about it now, of course of course i know that you want to know more about the on one no noise ai integration in um on one photo raw so let me show you how it's going to look like here is the interface looking at it right now which is how it's going to look like when you use on one no noise ai in on one photo 2022 what is i'm very excited about looking at the interface you can clearly see that it can do local adjustment exactly same as any other layer so you can do global noise reduction and you can also add another layer and do local noise reduction and then you have two modes on the left on the right my apologies which is the classic and the no noise so you can either choose to use the classic noise reduction or you can use the the newest on one no noise ai now here's the interesting thing i believe that you don't necessarily have to use on one no noise ai into every single images save it for a specific occasion for example if you have a super high noisy image use it so they can actually you know don't use all the your computer resources and sometimes it might do over um over noise reduction that's what i want to say uh, or and then if you don't if you have a minimum iso images say 100 to 800 modern camera can go as much as the 1600 to 3200 iso without any uh, sign of noise these days so for those i don't think you necessarily have to use the on one no noise ai 
you can actually uh, keep the classic so you can use the minimum resources of your computer and the software might perform fluently without any trouble and save the on one for the strong one for the high ISO super high ISO like 25,000 ISO or 52,000 ISO God knows how much the camera gets this time so you gotta you know what I mean and and of course, as you can clearly see, as I just said earlier, so you can use the layer noise reduction, which is means that you can localize your noise reduction just like you'd use uh, any other effects of this software, which is, you know, incredible. I'm very excited about this, uh, this, uh, this news. Now, according to the on one email that I received, let me read it out loud. AI-based noise removal is now built into the core raw processing of On One Photo Raw. It can use it on the fly and non-destructively, just like any other raw processing adjustment. No need to create intermediate DNG or T file. So you get the idea. Now moving on to the next big thing, uh, the Portrait AI. Now I got this screenshot of the Portrait AI. I remember the last Portrait AI interface. To be honest, looks exactly the same. It was already phenomenal. So any kind of improvement than that, it would be a bonus because the original one was excellent already. Now, of course, this is how the resize looks like in On One No Noise, On One Photo 2022. Uh, again, looks exactly the same. So I would imagine it's more to do with um the performance then the options now here's the newest thing in on one photo 2022 sky replacement let me show you the interface this is how the interface looks like for the on one sky swap ai for the sky replacement exactly similar to luminar ai now i cannot show you the demonstration but i can this is what you're looking at that's the screenshot sent by on one guys so i'm waiting for the software to arrive so that i can actually do the demonstration but the interface you have all kind of sliders i'm familiar with it because it's almost not far different than the luminar one so which is a good news because luminar is excellent so if they can pull it out then luminar has a big big competitor now now looking at the description you it automatically detects the sky in the photo and creates a mask. Select from one of the over 100 included sky or you can import on your own. So if you have your own collection of sky, you can use them too. Now also, it blends the color of the sky with the foreground so that it looks natural. So if it what it is says, then I think officially Luminar AI has their official competitor. Now you have two choices uh, of the artif artificial intelligence based sky replacement. No, three choices if you include Photoshop. So you have Photoshop for sky replacement. Now you already have the Luminar AI. Now you have the third one in the market, the on one sky swap AI. So that is a very, very, very exciting news. Now, time lapse. I'm going to show you the interface how it's going to look like for the time lapse so this is how the interface looks like and in the middle i can clearly see you have few things for example you have the raw input fast row so i'm guessing you have the um, slow row and um, you have you can choose the size between i think the minimum seven standard hd to 4k you can select your codecs quality the fps and the speed now in the description, it says the new time-lapse creation dialog can quickly create time-lapse videos from the still photo sequences. You can preview your results in right in the dialog and create quick proof version or high quality final result. It's amazing because you can actually fix every single exposure, noise uh, and the white balance of each photo in the same software and create a time-lapse. Reminds me of Nikon Studio, NX Studio, if I remember correctly. They also have a fantastic time lapse uh, creator. Now you have another software. I think personally, every single photography software should provide a time lapse option. I think it's, you know, uh, it comes hand to hand. It would be really nice to ha 
have this option by every single uh, photo editing software. Now, my personal opinion, those who already invested their money on on one no noise AI, I think they should get a discount because that software came not too long ago and now this software is coming out. Now, if folks want to upgrade their current version of the on one photo row 2022, 21 to 22, they should get at least a little bit of discount as a owner of the on one no noise AI. It's just my personal opinion because otherwise the um, together it would cost them a lot of money i think so the guys at the on one consider it now i already explained you the photoshop plugin host that means that you can use the photoshop plugin directly inside the on one photo row 2022 that means that you don't need to open photoshop separately to use the plugins in fact it's almost working as a replacement for photoshop that's pretty serious now, those who are using on one, sorry, Apple, MI chip based new laptop and PCs. Now it's officially supports the, all the, um, the Apple's new MI chip, which is a very good news for the Apple uh, Mac users. Now, another interesting tool that available in the software, which is the new line mask tool. If you remember in Photoshop or Affinity Photo, you have this pen tool that you can use this pen to cover a selection and then create a mask on top of it so you can just pinpoint exactly what you want to do you have exact same tool in on one photo row 2022 to demonstrate i'm going to show you in my favorite software silky pix double pro studio pro so in this software you have this tool which is exactly same going to be in on one photo row 2022 so this tool called polygon so it's essentially the similar tool, Polygon. So you have this tool and you can select a portion like that and just double click. And now you can use that mask area and do your local adjustment, which is very, very, very precise. And I personally going to be a big fan of this. You can also bend the line, which is in this software, you cannot do that. But in on one photo row 2022, you can bend the line as per your need. Now, those are the prime big changes and special features of the new software. So let me remind you, it's going to be especially the new sky swap AI for the sky replacement, the, the new time-lapse creation tool to create time-lapse, integration of on one no noise AI, the new Photoshop plugins, plugin host, that means that you can actually use the Photoshop plugin directly inside the software. You can, you have the new line mask tool, just like the pen tool in Photoshop and Infinity Photo, and the support for the AMI chip. What I didn't mention, there are many other, I'm just going to briefly go through it. So according to that mail, they, they have rebuilt the export which is looks very 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 uh promising um is to be tested by myself when i officially receive the software so i'm going to show you in my future videos so stay tuned and also according to the email they have a backup and restore which means that prepare the worst and recover easily with the backup and restore features they backup all your work settings albums presets and extras you can use the restore feature to recover from a disaster on your computer or migrate everything to a new computer amazing and they also have the customizable thumbnail now here's the last thing before i finish this video is the gestures which means you can use the touch screen of your laptop or mac os trackpads to zoom panning and so on so that would be a touch screen friendly, which is pretty freaking amazing. Now, this is it from me. I'm very excited. Uh, I should receive something from the on one to test the software very soon. To stay tuned, go down, like and subscribe. Any question, comment below and go to the description to read more about it. I think I have a limit of 5,000 words. So I'm going to try to uh, add as much information as I can in the description. And I see you next time. Most importantly, look after yourself. Ciao.